This is believed to be the truck that a British man named Abu Suleiman used to carry out a suicide attack on the Aleppo Central Prison in Syria on the 6th of February 2014. The photo was tweeted out by the Syrian opposition group Jabat al-Nusra, whose flag can be seen on the truck, along with another photo showing the explosion that allegedly followed. In these tweets, the Islamist group referred to Abu Suleiman as an immigrant. And now researchers at the University of London say they have confirmed that he was in fact a British citizen. If they are right, then this will be the first ever case of a British fighter taking part in a suicide attack in Syria. It's likely that Abu Suleiman, whose surname has been referred to as both al Britani and al muhajir by different sources, was fighting for Jabhat al-Nusra, the group that has been recognised by al-Qaeda as its official wing in Syria. Reports began circulating on Twitter late on the 6th of February that Abu Suleiman was behind the attack, which involved a truck packed with explosives. According to the Middle East analyst Charles Lister, the truck was the largest VBIED, or Vehicle Born Improvised Explosive Device, he has ever seen in Syria. <laughs> the attack allegedly blew up the gates of the regime controlled prison and was followed by a gun battle, which is believed to have enabled up to 300 prisoners to break free. Shiraz Meher, a senior research fellow at the International Centre for the Study of Radicalisation at King's College London, says he has made contact with other British fighters in Syria who have confirmed that a British man named Abu Suleiman was indeed behind a suicide attack at the prison. It is not known when Abu Suleiman travelled to Syria, however, or where he comes from in the UK, but Meher's contacts reportedly said a martyrdom video made by him would shortly be posted online. On the 7th of February, Charles Lister said jihadi sources were alleging that another British fighter of Yemeni origin had also been killed in Syria, this time in the town of Morek in Hama district. According to monitoring work being carried out by Meher and his colleagues, in total at least 10 British citizens have been killed fighting for Islamist groups in Syria, including two just this week. In the past few months, certain European politicians have seemed increasingly concerned about their citizens travelling to Syria to fight in the conflict. Back in October 2013, the British Home Secretary, Theresa May, said that some British citizens of a so-called jihadist mindset were using Syria as a terrorist training ground and then returning home. And two months later, it was revealed the British government was so concerned about what these fighters might do once they returned to the UK that they were stripping them of their British citizenship. Then, on the 19th of January, the French Interior Minister, Manuel Valle, warned that the hundreds of European jihadists returning home from Syria would be the greatest danger that Europe will have to face in the coming years. On the 31st of January, while on a visit to the UK, the French President, Francois Hollande, said that 700 Britons were now fighting in Syria, the same number as French citizens he said were also fighting there. The UK has since refuted this figure, however, saying it stands by previous estimates that around 350 of its citizens are fighting in the country. You can let us know what you think about all of this in the comments below, and we'll see you again next time.